it is Thursday we're gonna start on this I'm gonna get this taken care of I don't know if you can tell kind of can't tell on camera maybe you can when y'all look at it but that thing's bent well right here you can see it see how that's down it's twisted the whole it's twisted the whole daggum thing I'm hoping I'm thinking the bearings gonna be or bushings or whatever it has in here is gonna be damaged because it's so twisted but I'm gonna get it off there and I'll bring y'all back and we'll look at the plate and see how we're gonna do this I want to lower it down I'd like to move this box under the hood but they really ain't nowhere to do that without it being going underwater we're running out of spots to put stuff but I may be able to do with, do away with the box because the contactor that I got in there is a Albright contactor it's probably about that long I could probably just mount it under here somewhere and do away with the box altogether need to run some new wires anyway these are getting old and brittle they've been on there for three years all right i'm gonna get the winch off get the fair lead off all that stuff and i'll bring y'all back the wire's done done where's the contactor i run it's not very big but it works good it's been on there for shit three years and that's the remote control unit i got a video on that that's off of uh it's for a traveler winch and I modified it to work on the worn winch. I have a video on that. And I think I have a video on the wiring up this on the inside to my switches. I don't know if, how many of y'all have seen this, but that's my winch control from the inside. And this is the traveler remote that I, made, I wired up for the um, remote control. The inside deal works better than anything. I like it. Other than when I winched that tree up the other day, I wasn't outside the Jeep and I had it up under there because I couldn't see what I was doing. But anyway, but this is the, I don't know how to flip the camera upside down where you can see that. Let's try it like this. I don't know if that'll work or not. I don't know. But that's the switch I use. 12 volt 250 amp contactor it come off of Amazon I think I paid $70 for it but it's been a good one we may be able to put this and this somewhere in the mess of stuff under the hood maybe right here and do away with that box and that'll open up some I'm trying to get some air into the radiator better for the summer and I'm trying, I'm going to fix this, make it more rigid to the bumper, where it don't do that. The whole thing's twisted. Yeah, you can see it better under here like that. Alright, let me get this off. Carry on. Man, I jacked that thing all up. It's so hard to see this stuff on camera, but you can see it twisted on that side. There's a lot more room on the top of it, just out of that box. As far as blocking air. I think if we dropped it down to the bumper, run a tube and a hole in the tube through here to bolt that one up right to it there, I think that would lower it down a lot. Well, it would, two inches, two or three inches. All right, let me get a little further. That's a good little winch. It's the one, the uh, worn that they sell at Tractor Supply. It's the old school one. Yeah, that bracket is foobard, man. It like to pull itself off of there. Yeah. 
let me get work on cutting this off of here uh, we'll get back at it let's see how the uh, plasma cutter likes this raptor liner my torch don't like it too much I tried to burn it off the frame off the chassis one time and it just kept turning into like carbon but we will see what the plasma cutter thinks about it Too much of it. Naked. Let me get these uh, bolts out of here. See what it looks like. See if I can fix that. Let me see if I can bend that plate back and maybe at least use the use it as a template. Let me get the grinder out and get rid of this stuff. And uh, go from there. I'll try to straighten this back out use it for a template all right we got a fresh clean slate it's getting late 
I'll continue this video tomorrow and uh, we're probably going to flatten this out flatten it back out and use it for a template such drill down we may take the bumper off to do that we're going to attach that baby where she's on there forever. Alright guys, see y'all tomorrow. Good afternoon guys. It's Friday. I'm weighing out my options here. Uh, what was I going to say? I'm thinking... Well that there flat surface winch bolted through the bumper there drilled out through the bottom with a tube like a one inch tube going up to the top welded at the bottom to bolt the winch up and then cut this out to match the fair lead and that'll make the uh, fair lead stronger so it'll basically be the width from here to here and then the shape of the fair lead with the opening of course and the hole and all that stuff and then just weld this to the bumper or we could do the same thing cut this out shape of the fair lead weld it to the bumper grind it flat and then cut a pad out like this this size out a quarter inch plate and weld that to the bumper and then we'd have a solid solid I really don't know how thick this bumper is if it's 3 16 you know that's the same as what that is that's 3 16 which is the same as the flares the bumper is 3 16 then that's not going to be thick enough. So I'm going to do some thinking. We'll uh, probably go ahead and cut out our fair lead mount because we're going to have to have that anyway. And uh, of course we'll come off the bottom with some gussets off that fair lead mount. That way from now on when I'm pulling down on something, which I seem to be doing a lot, it'll have more strength right there. And I won't have to worry about twisting my bracket. But, uh, let me get to thinking on it, and I'm probably going to go ahead and grind all this liner off of here. Give us a good clean slate to work with, and uh, I'll bring y'all back. I guess we can take this opportunity to see if you could ever get that Raptor liner off the body of the Jeep if I wanted to. This is a flapper wheel. Uh, I'm not sure what grid it is. Looks like breathing uh, even when I'm grinding like I'm grinding metal with a grinder I don't like breathing that stuff it makes me sick damn near every time so I've learned over the years it's better to just put one on
pretty tough, but uh, if I ever did it, I'd strip it. I'd put a stripper on it. I did the whole Jeep. All right, let me get uh, some stuff straight here, and we'll, I'll be bring y'all back. You know, these Jeeps, they really are never done. <laughs> I've about come to grips with it. But, it's fun. It's what makes it fun. It's always something new to do. This was one of the weak points on this too, was the fair lead mounts. They were real thin and just not very good. hack that off in the bandsaw there and then we'll take the plasma cutter and cut out minus this here we're not going to cut that that's going to stay and straight down here is going to stay so basically and then cut that out we're going to cut this larger than what that is where the rope don't get caught on it because it's got that rounded edge so we need to be out here with it we'll, we'll, we'll massage that in all right let me cut it out i'll leave you right there come back with a plasma cutter and cut it out thing does a good job you do have to set them up though out take some grinding to make it look to my standards but I'm gonna get on that
got to be right or it'll cut the rope. I'm going to go in here and bevel all these at an angle. bit out and work on work on this in here get that roughed out to where it's smoother and put an angle on it where the rope ain't got anything to grab and cut the rope so get on that volume well we loud It shouldn't touch it there anyway. I just didn't want any sharp edges. We don't want no troubles out of this thing when we get done with it. We don't want to cause ourselves a problem. So now it's getting a little late. I'm gonna go center punch these holes and go ahead and drill it out and uh, bolt the fair lead on there and set it up there and see how it looks. Um, we'll probably continue the video tomorrow. I got a pretty lady coming home from work wants to go out to dinner so i gotta put my stuff up and get ready but there we go we're getting there we'll do some more tomorrow guys all right guys show you all this then i gotta go in that's gonna be our spot our pad the winch will fit in there let's see i'm just eyeballing that part We got 10 and a 16th on both sides. We got let's say five and a half inches. This pad is six. Our bolt pattern is right at five. So tomorrow, tomorrow we'll monkey with that. We're gonna build a gusset to go under the bottom of it too. I want this to be for an, a forever mount. We may top it off with a piece. This is quarter inch plate here. We may cut the sides off of that deal and uh, measure or just measure out a square out of this and plasma cut it out. And then top this with it, put that over the top of it after we weld this piece in, grind it down flat, put a square in there, and then pull the bumper off and drill through the bumper to get our bolts coming through the bottom because this this winch and plus that six and a half will probably fit a different winch. I wanted to get one. This one is is still works good, but it does have in the bearings but you know it is what it is we'll probably use it till it quits working we'll, we'll we'll evaluate that when the time comes we'll put it back on there though and see how it does and this is all the electronics for it over here so we may move all this stuff hide it out somewhere under under the hood that way we'll just have 
the height of the winch sticking up there nice and low and it'll unblock all of this it should help with airflow so that turned out pretty good I got the holes drilled in it I got it all radiused and smooth and I think that'll work out real good then you put your aluminum piece on there and this is why I'm wanting to keep it so far back on the bumper is I want to keep that fair lead to where the bull bar hits the tree before that does even if we have to shave this down a little bit more I think it'll be fine though let's see let's look at it one more time because that's where it's going to be at right there yeah we'll hang a string down from here straight down and see if the winch hits or this hits first but you know that's it's going to be pretty strong if we was to bump into something the way it was before with these two little tabs i've never hit anything with it i mean i've hit stuff with it and it hasn't done any damage it's amazing them held that fair lead. They are tweaked forward though. But alright guys. I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm going to get dressed up. And take my honey bun out. She wants a steak. So that's what we're going to do. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning guys. Sorry about the blurry camera on the last one. Uh, you gotta clean them lenses every now and again. So let's uh, carry on. I'm gonna get this done. The trail ride was canceled, so that's why we're working on a winch. I'll set y'all up right there for now, and we'll do some measuring and I'll bring y'all back. I think I'm gonna go ahead and tack that fair lead mount right there just put two tacks on it where it'll sit there we put the winch up there and see what we got and go from there nothing I couldn't break off if we want to change our minds on it but uh I'm going to leave y'all inside the shop zoomed in because the wind's blowing real hard so let me uh, get the welder set up we'll tack tack and take all the magnets off and see what we got on there and see what we got.
that's where I want it. Got plenty of room behind it for the rope. The only problem is, see our bolt holes in the back. It's not really a problem, it's just kind of something we're going to have to deal with. It's going right through the back side of that channel. So what we need to do is make the holes in the front and probably put a plate down there then notch out the back of the bumper take the bumper off notch out the back of the bumper weld a tube in there solid go up to the top to put a bolt through all the way from the bottom and uh, that'll be it I think it'll be really strong like that too and it'll be nice and low everything we want here so it opens up the radiator a bunch and we will mount the the uh, contactor under the hood somewhere and the remote remote control under the hood somewhere and, uh, call it a day I think that'll work also we're going to address this this is a cable winch and I put that rope on there where it bolts here on the side it wants to get hung on there if you get down too low on the rope so we might try to do we might take this apart and do something with that where we can bolt it through here if the brake ain't in there I think the brake's in there though but we'll see I'm gonna get busy and turn the camera off but I'll bring y'all back I might start fabbing up the gussets under there first before we take the bumper off and make the bolt holes last yeah that's what we'll do I'll get some metal out and start doing that all right got this is our plate we're gonna put on the top of it I decided to do that first where we know where it's gonna be when you this is old scrap steel when you're marking your stuff out always try to use all your material for you younger guys that's doing this stuff it's common sense but you know you can make we're gonna make all the gussets out of this one piece just keep cutting pieces out of it we couldn't use it here because of these holes so we got us a good little spot there but see the uh it's going to extend past the bumper yeah it's touching the grill but it's a rope I'm using so it's not going to be any problem in there you know I'm not worried about it and, uh, I'm going to cut that out cut this out use that for a template for the holes and then we'll get back on this we may build a shield back here up against the plastic but I don't think it'll be a problem it's always been pretty close to it and it's never caused a problem that's about where it was sitting at before and I'm trying to get it you know as far as I can up over the bumper so it's got less leverage on this it's overthinking it but it's just how I do things so I'm gonna cut that out start doing some gussets and I'll bring y'all back all right it's a couple hours later and I cut out the plate. I don't know if I mentioned I was doing that or not. The wind's been blowing so hard I can't make a video very well. But bolts in through here. That's how that's going to go. Then we got grade 5 Allen's there. I'm going to put a washer. You know, and I ain't going to leave it like that. But uh, gusset there. Gusset there. Gussets up here. Weld all this together. And it's there forever. It's a little tied up against the, I mean, it's got a little bit of clearance there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, there you go. That ought to be good. We're using a rope. If you was using a cable, you would not want to do it like this. But I want it, like I said, tucked back in there. Looks like we're good to go there. Yeah. So, so it's going to be half inch thick here half inch thick welded to here because this is probably quarter inch I'm thinking and weld all this together put a gusset back here to gusset that back to the bumper and it should be there forever and then we're going to gusset it up under here build something nice looking right here and uh and that's that that's how it's going to sit and I've covered the radiator a pretty good bit so I like that been hard at it. I gotta blow some metal chips 
off of the slab. Only thing bad about these, man, when you drop them and there's metal chips around, they pick up everything. I'm going to get some of the kind that turn on and off. Because you spend more time cleaning these off than you do using them. But they do work good though, so for what they are. seconds for that music or they'll flag it on YouTube. As my dad always said, you ain't gonna do it right, don't even do it. This is what I come up with. Sorry for the wind. Some of you young guys that's just now fabricating tape, scissors, cardboard, that's how you make paper before you make metal. And triangles are your friend, always. See here. Get them in order here. And you mark what sides what. I'm fixing to do that now. There we go. That'll take care of gusset in this and gusset in the bottom. It'll be stronger this way, stronger that way. Up with. You can do all this with a cutoff wheel, it just takes longer. require some uh, grinding and fitting up here
David, we built the front end for. He just sent me a picture, and this whole bottom of his winch just broke off right here. That's from things tweaking. That's why I'm doing all this. I was worried about that happening on that. There's our gusset. We got to paint it all to look better when we get done with it. I'll put a, got a center one there, one here. So a little Mad Max, but not too bad. It'll definitely be there. Get some paint on it and get it ground up. When I get through welding, then I'll weld all these smooth and make it look like it's one piece, the whole thing. Just for, for looks. I can't weld it up today because the wind's blowing too hard. Plus, we're going to take it off now. I'm going to take the bumper off and put two gussets back here same as the front and then we should be golden weld it all up solid um, I got a little job to do tomorrow uh, for Luke so I don't know if we'll get back on this tomorrow or not but I'll review the video and uh, we may end it here we may not but I'll say my goodbye now and if so we'll uh, make another video pull the bumper off weld it all up we're gonna clean this drum up may pull the ends off and check the bearings and check the brushes see if we can get some brushes for it if it needs some and go through the winch paint it back up and then uh, weld it all up and it should be ready to go and then we're gonna respray the Raptor liner before we go to Jeep Beach so I will take it all back off and Raptor line this whole thing put the fair lead back on it polish it up and be all nice and pretty for the show but I think that's that's pretty stout right there if that bumper's a quarter inch thick it should be a half inch thick plate all the way back to where the back bolts go on that should be there forever and it's dropped down low but I will uh, let y'all know you know what we do with it it may be tomorrow it may be next week sometime when we finish it up but guys y'all take it easy appreciate you watching I'll holler at you later. Bye.